got the scripts, the third one especially, and reading it. Um, you know, we're older people, we're older characters, um, and Kevin has grown and, as a writer. He's really done incredibly well with everything he's done in the progression. If you see his very first movie to his very last movie, and you see just the emotional thread of where it all goes through, it's a testament to us just growing and wanting to connect at a certain level. Yeah, it's a, it's a testament to Kevin's writing. Like, you, you, you read the script and it's kind of all there. Um, it doesn't take, it's not hard to sort of get into character. <laughs> I just gotta chew gum. <laughs> Turn the hat backwards. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like his Clark Kent. <laughs> really, there was a different version of Clerks 3 written. Um, and, you know, it's been talked about already. I'm not saying anything that hasn't been said already. It was just a very dark script. It, it didn't feel like it belonged in the Clerks world. It just uh, was kind of an odd thing. Um, I know Kevin has since done live readings of it, and he is very glad that that movie didn't get made. Um, as far as like why I decided to do it, I don't know. It's like um, when Kevin pitched the idea for the script that we wound up shooting, he was just so excited about it, and his excitement was kind of infectious. So uh, I said, "Yeah, we'll do it." Dumb. <laughs> I mean, he's like 47. He would go in the restroom, climb out the window, and get rid of that poor girl. It had to be the longest five weeks of her poor life. <laughs> On set, there was a lot of uh, mixing around of lines and stuff. Um, but speaking of Lord of the Rings, like um, I, I just started doing the cons this year. Like I, I've never done them before. And uh, when we did our first con, that the hobbits were there. <laughs> Brian and I went in and took a photo with them, and Brian's holding up an onion ring, and I'm pointing at it, and they're like this. I don't get excited about a lot of stuff, but I love that photo. <laughs> One ring to rule them all. It's funny because there have been fans that have come up to Jeff with the Lord of the Rings box set for him to sign. <laughs> but here's the touche about it. Before they get to the actual hobbits to sign, so then he would write on the box before them, all they did was fucking walk in this movie. <laughs> so then it gets to Elijah Wood, Sean Ashton, Billy Boyd, and Dominic. <laughs> There was a guy who came up to my table and he said, you know, I, I have the VIP pass to get a photo with the hobbits and it allows me to bring somebody. Would you come with me? <laughs> so he was holding up the sign that said, even the trees walked in those movies and I just thought, <laughs>